About five years ago, Samsung started the phablet craze and everyone thought it was a silly device. Look now, we are five years on and we have about five Galaxy Note devices. Now today we're talking about the Galaxy Note 7, but let's go back and talk about all the devices that started off this trend. With the first Galaxy Note here, which of course was a 5.3 inch device, it ushered in the phablet arena, it brought in the stylus, it brought in a lot of power user usability that an Android phone or no phone ever had at this point. And then we go on to the, uh, the Galaxy Note 2, which brought improved handwriting recognition in here. Uh, you've also, you also got uh, better camera features and also uh, more RAM and also the first use of the Exynos processor here in the US. Uh, so uh, it brought a lot of things that um, you know weren't actually perceived. And then we move on to the, of course, the Galaxy Note 3. Here we saw multitasking play a big role. I mean, your screen size jumped from 5.3 to 5.5 and you have no real estate. You can watch video at the same time. You can also tweet, do other things. This is something that now as a Samsung I'm using myself, I take for granted that I use on a regular basis, but this is when it started off and this is with the earliest implementation of it. And it really showed the progression of what Samsung had moved the device on from the original Galaxy Note to the Galaxy Note 3. Then moving on to the Galaxy Note 4, Snapdragon 805 processor, three gigs of RAM on a smartphone, never heard of before. The S Pen also got a huge bump in improved functionality altogether. The design language also changed. You can see, you know, slightly thinner bezels on the side and also made it uh, more of a functional device that had uh, great usability, overall solid functionality and just a good use case scenario. Then we move on to the other device that Samsung actually introduced the same year was the Galaxy Note Edge. The Note Edge itself, of course, brought in the first edge display. This is something that no one thought was possible in full functionality. Samsung showed the use of edge apps, how it looks in the device, uh, and how it could actually be used. Then of course, we have the Galaxy Note 5. I believe this is probably the best Galaxy Note uh, through and through throughout the line. And this is something that Samsung really put a lot of polish into the device. Uh, it had the new design language, the more improved S Pen. Uh, it also had really solid camera output, greater handwriting, uh, all the features you expect, and also that glass back finish uh, with this device. But that's not where everything actually ends. Uh, as you can see, there are six Galaxy Note devices. Yeah, six, including the Galaxy Note Edge, which means only one thing, that the next device should be called the Galaxy Note 7. I know the last device was Galaxy Note 5, but I think Samsung wants to clean up the lines put things together so that you can actually have a cohesive structure with the Galaxy S line itself. So the first thing we've seen from our, our leakers, of course, is the new lettering for the Samsung Galaxy Note line, the Galaxy Note 7. As you can see here, uh, it's a Galaxy, there's a Note, is in blue, but the Note and the 7 are actually one word, just like the Galaxy S7 or the S line. So the S and the 7 are close together. This indicates that now these are, you know, it's basically matching the lineage as you have with the S line, the Note line is also taking that form and factor. Next off, uh, EV Leaks put out this image earlier uh, today, and this is uh, leaked renders of the Galaxy Note uh, 7 itself. As you can see, it looks like it has dual curved displays. Also, there's an iris scanner in the front, so if you look at the top of the device, you can see an iris scanner on there. You still have the uh, cameras at the back, as well as the heart rate monitor on there. Now, in terms of specs, uh, you're looking at a Snapdragon 823 processor, six gigabytes of RAM, so it's bumping up to what like the OnePlus 3 has. The cameras are still uh, rumored to be the same 12 megapixel in the rear, uh, F1.7, and uh, of course a uh, five megapixel in the front. Uh, you have a 4200 milliamp battery. We're moving to USB type C. Of course, there'll be fast charging, wireless charging built into this device, as you would expect from, uh, from Samsung. And also, this will also have IP68 water and dust resistant rating, just like the Galaxy S7. So pretty much the Note line is now catching up to the S line itself, which is quite interesting. Now, when will this come out? August 2nd is the rumored date for the launch. Now, leaked images of uh, a press flyer went out, says August 2nd, uh, event will be in New York City. So of course, we'll be there to cover that out. Now, it has, has been traditional with Samsung, usually the device is now launched within the two week window. So we can expect to see something around the 
uh, the 16th or so the week of the 16th of August will be the launch date for the new Galaxy Note, which is moving it up because you used to love launch in September. Now this is actually in August, right before IFA. So that is all you can expect from the Galaxy Note 7, at least of what we know right here, right now. There could be more announced at the show. There could be some new software additives, of course, uh, from Samsung. We have to wait and see once August comes around and most likely August 2nd will be there. So stay tuned here at Border Work. And guys, if you have any questions or any comments about the Galaxy Note 7, let us know. Otherwise, don't forget to like and share this video, favorite this video, subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy your entertainment. Thank you